Hello everyone. My name is Da Yu. I am currently attending Paul Mitchell the School in Chicago, and here is my story how I got here. I grew up in the early '90s in South Korea, where I had to fit in beauty standards to be considered a pretty girl. Long straight hair, skinny body with a pale skin tone. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of them. My mom convinced me to grow my hair out. Made me go to the ballet class I hated, forced me to wear a skirt. I'm not blaming her for that because she simply wanted me to grow up pretty, just like any other girls. I was considered fat for an Asian standard and often got bullied in school. Growing up in Korea, I wasn't confident enough to think that I am beautiful. We live in a world where society focuses on refined physical beauty. Glamorous models posing on a fashion magazine, tall and skinny, well-proportioned body. It is aesthetically pleasing. It is beautiful. But I always wonder: Is that the only way beauty can be defined? Then there was my turning point when I came to the States at the age of 16. A melting pot of cultures, diverse food, and ethnic cities. I got to meet a lot of people who are confident about themselves in different body shapes, different facial features, hair, and skin types. I've learned that there is no wrong or right about being beautiful as long as you love yourself. So I started loving myself the way I am. For me, beauty is my passion because I get to share the moment with someone sitting in my chair. The moment you feel confident about your next job interview, the moment that you finally let go of your ex, the moment you cherish yourself. I love doing hair because not only I make them look great, but I can feel that there's more enthusiastic energy coming out of them. I believe that people express themselves through hair, their emotions, their personalities, or lifestyles, and I can't be any happier to be part of it. I recently went to Caper, which is the biggest annual event for Paul Mitchell. Tabitha Coffey was there to share her story with us. Long story short, she had to walk away from everything she had accomplished as a hairstylist at one point. A few years later, she wanted to make a comeback. But through a new generation, there are so many beauty influencers and fast-changing trends. It wasn't easy for her. Then she found this nonprofit organization called Hair Aid. They gather volunteer hairdressers to teach hair cutting techniques to people living in a critical poverty, and she's been sharing her talents to help people in need. Her story inspired me with confidence that I could do so much more than giving someone a makeover as a beautician. I would like to participate in volunteer work so I could be a part of this world with beautiful people. Ultimately, I want to become a prism for people. What we really see through a prism are different colors, perhaps changing our perspective or the way we view on an object. Beauty has so many forms, and it's everywhere, but not everyone sees it. In my professional career, I would like to awaken people's eyes to find beauty in them. I think the most beautiful thing is confidence and loving yourself. As a young teenager who struggled with low self-esteem, a girl who had to adapt to a new environment. I've learned to appreciate the beauty of body and soul. So here's my journey to make this world colorful.